Hey everybody, this is Rob James from Mirror Souls here to tell you about the equipment that we use. Um, it's part of a, a new video series we're going to do to uh, take a look at all the equipment we use um, for recording the albums and playing live. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about my primary guitar. It's my EVH Wolfgang USA, um, and many of you may be aware that uh, I'm a huge Eddie Van Halen fan, and that might lead you to the conclusion of that's why I have it um, and use this guitar, but in fact there are other very technical reasons why this is a great fit for me and why it's my favorite guitar to play. Let's start at the top. Um, here you have the headstock, and you can see it's kind of an unusual, almost like a bottle opener uh, shape. Um, what I like is that it's short length, uh, making the overall guitar a little, little less heavy, a um, little uh, shorter in scale in general. And at the back, you can see you have these are EVH, but they're from Goto. Um, great, great tuning pegs. Um, not really super important because you have a locking system here, but um, nonetheless, um, and you have this string tensor here that's going to pull it tighter against the nut, uh, giving a little more sustain uh, and balance. And also, just in terms of the way the headstock there is really key for a guitar balancing. A lot of guitars will have a headstock that's a little too heavy and it sort of pulls it down like this, but this guitar stays in balance beautifully um, the whole time. Next, you have the neck here, super important. Um, this is very, very narrow um, compared to most necks. My entire hand, and I have very small hands, um, can wrap around my thumb, can even go down to three, three strings down. I do a lot of work where I wrap the thumb around um, the guitar, and it's just a position I'm more comfortable with, so forth, and it just fits my hand really well. Um, the neck itself is not super thin, uh, but it's not real thick either. It just fits really nice into the palm, kind of like a... Uh, an old pair of sneakers that fits great on your feet. Again, the overall size is, is just terrific. It's a bird's eye maple here, and the frets themselves are stainless steel, uh, meaning there won't be any corrosion or wear, so that's a premium kind of upgrade. But probably the most important thing for me, besides the size of the neck um, and the length of it, is the finish itself on the back is feels like raw wood. It's a satin finish. It's basically unfinished wood. There's actually a little bit of stuff on there, but as far as your hand senses, it, it feels just like uh, a fresh piece of wood. There's no lack of finish. There's no stickiness or whatever. So it's just a raw wood uh, backing, and you feel that on the on the fretboard as well. Really, really nice. Um, you can see up close there is some uh, bird's eye type configuration or figuring of the maple. Very beautiful. Um, I also like um, that the, the dot inlays, you know, sometimes you have high-end guitars, they don't actually have the the fifth fret, third fret, you know, twelfth fret type things. Uh, it's not that big a deal, but I've just become accustomed. I've always had those there, so I find when they're there missing, it just sort of freaks me out a little bit um, in terms of uh, just knowing where I am and positioning and so forth. So. Um, makes for the perfect neck. Uh, the last feature of the neck that's really cool is the truss rod, which is how you control the neck's warp. So it's got to be on a little angle. A guitar neck's not straight. It's kind of got a curve to it. And um, it's always needing to be adjusted. And on many guitars, you have the truss rod hidden behind a plate here, and you have to sort of take everything apart and do an adjustment with a wrench uh, to tune it. But really clever uh, design here where they have this rotating wheel here where you can just reach in here and do an adjustment and curve the neck a little this way or that way so that you have the uh, the strings uh, you know at the right height and distance from the fretboard to make it easy to play but also not have buzzing and so forth so very very cool feature of the EVH so that's the neck <laughs> For the body of the guitar, um, first of all, I love uh, this sort of quilt maple top. Um, it looks great. 
um, it's kind of a red kind of finish on it um, so I, I really like that a lot um, the pickups themselves are fairly hot but not crazy um, screwed right into the wood so it carries a resonance and a sort of a rumble um, that you might not get if the pickups aren't screwed directly into the wood um, that's a, that's an innovation from uh, EVH himself uh, way back in the day so he's carried on that tradition all along um, the other thing that's really functional is this switch here selects between this pickup and this pickup so up on a normal guitar down is for this pickup which is where you spend you know 90% of your time and then there's this, this uh, more bassy pickup rhythm pickup neck pickup sorry uh, up top and normally you you lift the switch up but what happens on the EVH is that uh, the fact of the matter is he spends most of his time playing with this thing however he's you know uh, players like that and myself included will reach over and actually do like some tapping work or do something funky on the neck over here and it can bump the switch up so what you really want is in the down position and then you come over and you bump it and it ends up in the wrong spot when you really want it down here so if you're spending most of your time down here and you're doing tapping work so it's things like it's better for it's better for this switch to be in the up position so that the, it makes natural sense of the arms you know pulling it up and so forth so that's a really cool um, innovation as well um, not too complicated but very good very simple down here with these um, this is a volume and a tone um, I like to have this stuff far enough away from the pickups that I'm not bumping it so I find on Stratocasters for example I'm picking or playing I'm always bumping this knob and it's sort of moving it around off of where I want it and so forth so it's just the right distance and the right sort of tension but it's also a super high quality component because I do a lot of sound or volume swells with the pickup so you know the pot's super high quality and uh, it stays clean doesn't have a lot of scratchiness or, uh, or so forth and can kind of take the pounding and beating that it goes through when I'm doing volume adjustments all the time so I use this quite a bit um, it needs to be super high quality and, and that's what this is and it needs to be far enough away from the pickup be functional for me um, here you have uh, the whammy bar it's Floyd Rose and I like that um, the way that works with the screws so you kind of have it loose or, or tighter depending on what application you're in the middle of and another innovation on this guitar is this little thingy here which you pull out to give you a drop detuning so it changes the tuning of this thing without having to sort of untune the guitar so you get the effect. Let's see if we can make this work here. So this is so it's in the E mode here with normal tuning. But then you pull this guy out. Just by pulling this out, basically you get into the D drop D. So and we do a couple, we do a couple of songs on Quantum Arrival where we have a drop D tuning. Truth is is one of those. And so you get a drop D effect and then you know you just simply push it back in and you're right back up to there. So you get this pop in, pop out between drop D and E. Super cool, very, very helpful. Um, when you're doing live shows, you don't wanna have to be unlocking all this stuff and messing around with the tuning too much. Um, just more things that can go wrong. So this little drop D thing here um, super functional um, and nothing really too exciting about the jack here um, beyond just it's super high quality super durable and that's true about everything about this guitar just feels super well made um, built like a brick house um, not too complicated but actually has some some great features as well so sort of keep it simple um, but get the job done so that's why uh, this is my favorite guitar besides it sounds great um, but it's light it plays well it fits my body extremely well the overall length of this is quite short um, I can actually show you here a difference of this is a Ibanez gem which is a Steve Vai guitar and Steve is a very tall guy and I can sort of show you if I sort of put these down how much taller um, this guitar is than this one so this is like touching the ground you can see there's a huge difference in terms of the height and length of the guitar and how it fits your hands the neck is also wider um, so you need bigger hands um, 
and uh, longer fingers to sort of do the same, get the same outcome and so forth. So it's about the size and the layout of the guitar. It feels fantastic. Nice and light, very functional, um, yet simple and but high functioning as well. So that wraps up our um, summary of the EVH Wolfgang uh, gear. Um, if you've enjoyed the video or if you want to support the band in any way, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, like the video, leave comments. Um, it's all good. Um, and thank you for watching. Take care, everybody.